something, isn't it? <laughs> Waterford Crystal Clock is engraved, you see. They gave me that to celebrate my 50 years at the organ. So I've had that nine years. <laughs> Very nice. And where does that take pride of place? Oh, tell me, I went along, along with the photograph, of course, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a marvellous thing to have. And uh, so unusual. It's all inscribed, you know, Dave Nicholas, and you can see there on the top, Dave Nicholas, and on the top it's 50 years up. So it'll be 60 years next year. Wow. 1954. Wow. Yeah. So tell me that funny memory that you have. I'm just going to pull back so I can see you. Yeah. So tell me the funny memory that you have. Oh, well, could I quote the, the, the cinemas in Clacton? You said you had a, a fond memory of something that happened. Oh, here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was... Um, uh, at one time, we used to go out, and I finished playing. I used to, they used to leave a door open under the stage, by the stage, and they used to go out that way. And this particular time, they, they, um, they, they forgot to open the door. And I was backstage, and it was a creepy film that was on. And I went to the side, and of course the, the stewards on the side, they could see this figure waving. And of course they wondered what it was. They got a panic, caused panic. And then they realized I was locked behind and couldn't get back. <laughs> of course, it, it, things have altered now. I've come out a different way. So that's one of the funny things we had happened. And then we've had uh, another occasion, had the, a chat with a unicycle with the children and they're going around the theatre, you know, playing the chase music. And then another time, um, the, the George Formby Society were here, they had a George Formby film on, and they played the ukulele, the chat, chat with the ukulele, because I'd never happened to the, with the Phil organ before accompanying the ukulele, you know. So there's quite a few things. And then the Everton football people had a, um, an evening here and they gave me an Everton shirt and, uh, and then uh, of course I wore it while I was playing so that's another thing of course the, the Philharmonic have got the shirt I've given it to them for the archives you know <laughs> yeah so it's all so tell me about your kilt this yeah well, it started off with a job with some friends in Edinburgh, and uh, I knew my mother's name was Scottish, it's Teviddale, and um, I went in the shop in, in um, not Princes Street, up, up the Royal Mile, and um, I went with the friends, and then they said, well, I got the tie, Roxborough tie, and they said, that's what you should have, playing the organ, you see, just as a joke. And, and I just thought, that would be an idea. Anyway, it all happened, and it was weird. And the funny thing was, when we went in the shop, the fellow that served us, he had a grand grandmother, lived in Birkenhead, and the people I was with were next door neighbours. <laughs> so it was really weird how, how it happened, you know. Meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely meant to be. So, um, how I come to start with the kilt here, it was through um, Brendan McCormick, sadly passed on now, the guitarist. And Glenn, Brendan used to play in the lounge before the show, and I, uh, five till six, and I used to do uh, six till seven, and I used to do seven till half past in the hall. And this particular time, it would be about 1993, I suppose, something like that. And um, they, they, they suggested that Brendan do the um, White Christmas, uh, Jingle Bell, sorry. On, and um, so Brendan said to me, I'll bring my father Christmas outfit, you see. So then I said about this, and they said, oh yes, have that. Well then, the following year, the Philharmonic closed to be renovated. And of course, they called me in to use it. To, to play the old Lang Syne, had all the balloons in the roof, you know, come down. I still got a photograph of that. So when it opened up again, you see, I decided to well keep using it because it's just been a gimmick, and and uh, you're known by it, you know. Well, I know lots of people who know you by your kilt. Yeah.